Hello, this is James from xrobots.co.uk. This is part one or two, depending on how you look at it, of Iron Man's Arms. I made a short update video, which is the last video prior to this one in my channel, where I told you about my plans for Iron Man's hands and arms. And I mentioned that I was gonna cut these arms in half. Um, this is the forearm and have a mechanism that basically clamps them together so it clamps your arm and the arms are self-supporting. So uh, the forearm clamps your forearm, that's attached to the bicep, um, and those pieces hold themselves on, their on your arms without being attached at the shoulder. So I've actually already cut this piece in half. Um, and if you look at Iron Man the movie, um, probably Iron Man 1 is the best example where the machine puts the, the suit onto Tony, You'll notice that when the suiting up gantry approaches him, the arms are kind of like this, and it, you know he puts his arm in and it clamps down and clamps onto him. So what we need to do is build a mechanism um, which opens the arm up sort of like this, and then clamps down and we can latch in place, preferably at one end. We also um, need to rebuild the hinges. The original ones are actually casts from milk bottle tops. So um, I need to make some new ones that fit in there, which permanently attach this piece, or at least the bottom half, to the bicep. So I've been having a look at some mechanisms. Let's see what I've got here. And playing around with some Lego. So basically what I've got here is a simple sort of scissor mechanism. Obviously this one is slightly shorter. Obviously in the real mechanism this piece wouldn't be that long, but there isn't a Lego piece the right length. And as you can see, the result is that as it opens, this piece comes to an angle. So pretty much when this is 90 degrees, that would be the open position. So um, this is actually uncannily the right size for this piece. So if I just hold that in there, so obviously that would mean that the suit would fit together. And as it opens, the top one will be hinged at an angle there. So it'll end up something like that, um, which is just about right, and the uh, cuff doesn't bind. So basically I'm going to do a CAD design for this part. It's not gonna be made of Lego in the actual suit, and then I'm going to 3D print it. The other thing I need to do with this is extend this piece along so that it's attached to the hinge. And then I can literally stick this piece in either side, and that's the mechanism. And then I'll be going on to put some, some blocks of foam in that actually hold your arm, possibly a 3D printed brace that goes over the top that shuts down, possibly on this piece over to the other side that clamps your arm. So here are my CAD parts. I did these in Autodesk 123D design, which is free software you can download for free. Uh, basically some simple parts, obviously the two parallel hinges and two levers. Um, and this part is the hinge for the elbow hinge to the bicep. So I've measured these quite carefully from the Lego pieces and the actual pieces of armor. So now we need to 3D print them. So here's my prototype printed parts, which I've just done in white plastic, as you can see. And I've just used some small screws to make the joints. I got one of the holes slightly wrong, so I had to make another hole next to it so that they align perfectly parallel. Um, but that appears to work in exactly the same way as the, the Lego version. So let's just pop that in there. So the bottom one should lie perfectly parallel with the edge of the armor. As I say, this piece makes the elbow hinge. So there'll be another part extending down from the bicep inside there. Um, and that appears to align properly, so we'll see that part is stuck on there and there'll be one each side. So there's a couple of things I need to change about that. Uh, first of all, white plastic isn't what Iron Man is made of. Obviously when you look at this open, you will at least see these two plastic white bars. So I'm gonna print a new one of these, um, or at least the final ones will be printed in silver plastic. Um, which will save me painting them, so they'll actually be silver pigmented plastic that's silver all the way through, so even if you scratch the surface at some point, you don't get white showing through, which is what would happen if I just painted them. The other thing is I need to make some sort of catch to hold it shut, and probably a spring across here or something, 
um, which makes it pop open. So I need to put an, a couple more holes on for some screws and um, a spring across there. I'm not quite sure how it's going to be held shut. Um, it probably needs to be latched at this end. So when this end is latched shut, that end's quite hard to open. But if that end's held shut, that end opens quite easily. So the latch needs to be at this end. I'm not sure if a magnet would be strong enough to hold it. Um, but of course I could actually build the latch into the somewhere else into the two halves. I haven't quite decided yet. So I need to give that some thought before I do the next one. So I've now made the second prototype. This is the one I just showed you. And this is the next one, which as you can see has some added springs and bits and pieces. Uh, mainly, now there's a catch, which uh, locks it down. And that's just held with a spring. And obviously a spring, which causes this piece to spring up. And the other piece of the catch there, which just clicks into place. And the other thing is an end stop on here. So this can uh, the spring doesn't pull it too far. Um, I've also made that part slightly deeper so the elbow hinge is in the right place. So, this now fits in here and it fits pretty well. This piece is in here. Um, the aim is obviously there'll be one each side. Um, these pieces will have a bar that joins them which goes down the bottom here and then basically I will be cutting out this piece so you have a push button, you push here, that releases the two catches and obviously causes the arm to release. So that's still the right angle. Um, so basically you'll push this down and it locks shut on both sides and then you'll push a button here and that will cause the uh, arm to pop up and open again and let your arm go. So basically I need to print these in silver now. I also need to um, the top surface is very textured, the bottom surface is smooth where it's on the print bed. So what I want to do with these mechanical parts is have a smooth surface rubbing on a smooth surface. So in fact I'll be taking the ones that are meant for the other side and turning them round and putting them on this side so I get smooth to smooth. And then the rough top surface faces the outside so that uh, glues really well to the armour. Um, the other thing that struck me was there's quite a lot of space in the bottom here, so there's space for a servo or a solenoid. So you could make it so that the um, arm opens and it's triggered electronically. So anyway, let me get these printed up. I should be able to get some paint on this piece as well um, and get the silver versions of these fitted in there.